matchup. Introducing the first team, making their way to the ring. Fargo, Reno, 2K2, Shane Black, and their partner, Inferno. Being led to the ring by Jessica. Ladies and gentlemen, Extreme, Billy Dream, the protege, B.A.D. and Doink the Clown. Tough one for the referee to keep the to keep a lid on. You do realize this. I wouldn't look for much sanity in this match. I wouldn't look for much, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Especially with that clown in there. Watch it! I'll tell you, Shane Black certainly looks to have a very strong team in this one. The Inferno Kid is one of definitely one of the best independent wrestlers on the East Coast today. And obviously, Kiwi has a lot of experience in the ring, being a former WCW hardcore champion. Yes, but will they be able to work together? That's the question. Uh, Billy Dream's protege, Dean, they all seem to have their act together. Well, I guess we'll find out as this match goes on. Now, look at that. The Doink the Clown giving Inferno a, a point to the eye. Ooh, but a nice drop toll right there. Oh! Squeeze of the nose, some of the tricks by the Doinkster. Oh, my. And it's always great to see Doink the Clown. It is. And what an arm bar that was. It, we tag off. Inferno, Inferno's shoulders definitely have to be feeling the, the works of that. And he tried to tag, but uh, no such luck. And a right hand by Inferno. And look at that. A little... Face buster on that one as Inferno finally tags off. And in comes Fargo. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, that was something. Couple shots to the face, now into the ropes. What a nice shoulder block. I'll tell you, everybody here tonight seems to be giving their all for this very special.
special show going on right here. Well, they're all here. WXW joins forces with WWF. And we're here to honor the great former WWF heavyweight champion of the world, Rodney Yokozuna on away. And uh, what a great champion he, he was. He certainly will be missed by all of his fans, by all the wrestlers, the entire wrestling world. You better believe it, Extreme Billy Dream getting the tag in now. Taking it with a couple of right hands. This guy is intense. Oh, right here. there goes Billy Dream. He missed with that right. He ducks that up and over. A little bit of leapfrog. Look at that, would you? Oh, what a power slam by Extreme Billy Dream. A kick by Inferno. Uh-oh. What's this? <laughs> and a nice takedown. And another. Hey, I just want to take everybody, uh, take a moment to remind everybody that not only is this show being brought to you live on Service Electrics TV 2, but as well, Blue Ridge Cable Channel 13. I want to say hi to all of our friends on Blue Ridge Cable TV 13. Plus, we also have me, Mark Clemson, and Kiki Blaze over there on the side doing the netcast. This show will be up roughly in about a week or so. Along with Phil May. Along with Phil May on the internet, and you can check it out at www.thebaldguy.net. And Extreme Billy Dream caught a boot. And we have a pinning. Oh, no, almost. That was close. That was very close. It's not algebra. Once again, <laughs> yeah. if you're just tuning in, I'm Mike Mittman at ringside along with the nationally syndicated wrestling talk show host, The Bald Guy. Coming up later on, we've got some unbelievable matches as The Undertaker teams up with Kane to take on APA for Rook and Bradshaw and the special reunion of the former WWF Tag Team Champions of the World, the Head Shrinkers. I'll tell you, that that, that right there is, is going to be something. What a mess they're going to create. I, I can just see it now. You know, it's bad enough when these Samoans wrestle individually, but when you get a whole cluster of them together, look out. And a right by... Oh, Billy, big, uh, extreme yep. Billy Dream. Shane Black definitely feeling the effects of that clothesline. And as you see, Shane Black comes out. And, and who does he give the WXW Cruiserweight title to hold? That's me. <laughs> Am I supposed to be impressed by that? Well, I, think, I don't know. I think that's pretty impressive. Okay, all right, I'm impressed. All right. Couple right hands to Shane Black. Now, nice reversal. Extreme Billy Dream giving a couple of his own. Oh! You know, why is it that all the rule breakers flock to you, you know? Well, you, well, you know, birds of a feather. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? I think so. Oh, oh. <laughs> I guess that, that explains me. that. Oh! And that is migraine number four, I think. It is. I think so. Come on, Shane! You're the champion. Get up and show these people here in the valley why. Yeah. Protege getting the tag in off of Extreme Billy Dream. Protege, I'll tell you, we saw Protege make his big WXW debut here last month at the Lehigh Valley Sports Zone. And coming up later on, my buddy Rikishi's back there. He'll be stopping oh, out. Oh, no. Don't tell me he's back again, too. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Billy Kidman is here. Billy Kidman, as you know, is a, is a graduate of the Wild Samoan Training Center. Billy, Billy went to Parkland, graduated from the Wild Samoan Training Center, and is now with the WWF. That's right. Actually, he, he graduated in record time. He completed the, the actual course in only three months. And now he's making millions. Oh, <laughs> he's making more than you and I, that's for sure. But hey, you know what? Kidman can do it. You can do it, too. If you're interested, be sure to check out the Wild Samoan Training Center. And they've trained the best. They've got, oh, they've got schools all over the country, and they've got France and Germany. You better believe it. Reno sending protege on that top rope. <laughs> Just go to France, make a left. You'll find Germany. It's right there. Oh, no, where it is? Something like that. 
All right, Reno taking Protege oh, into the corner. Protege coming out with a big clothesline. Reno not liking the effects of that too much, that's for sure. <laughs> And Reno, former great WCW superstar, without a doubt, without a doubt. Oh, look at that right hand! Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'll tell you, I certainly wouldn't fight any of these guys. Into the turnbuckle, a tag. In comes Inferno. Let's go. Let's go. You know what do you say about an eight-man tag team match? You know, you just sit back and. Watch, you know, it's just chaos. in, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. Thank goodness we got rid of the metal maniac. Was, what a pleasure that was. Oh, oh come on. I, I, I kind of think he likes it. Oh, my. What can I say? Oh, look at that elbow from Shane Black. And bald guy, as we look around the Lehigh Valley Sports Zone, it is standing room only. You better believe it. And because of that, I've got a surprise for you a little bit later on. Okay? Oh, no. Yes, you're going to like this one. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me on that. Uh-huh. All right. I remember you said that last month and Rikishi came out. Have you got a problem with my friend Rikishi coming out? Uh, you know what? I have no problem with anyone bigger than me. We'll go back and tell him if you have a problem. No, that's quite all right. Don't want to interrupt him. You could get the stink face, too, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. I don't think. Oh, oh look out. I knew this was going to happen. All right. Come on, boys. It's broken out. <laughs> Just. Stay glued. Look at that doink. The clown on the outside is Shane Black. And there's the bell. What happened? Rio getting the big pin and the win to put an end to this bout. And what about this was? All right. You had two WCW uh, wrestlers in there, former uh, hardcore champion, and a great, great, great match. I'll tell you, these eight-man tags are crazy. You really got to keep up with the action. The winner 